Hello there students, welcome back to part two. We're gonna roll through a couple of application problems for you. Please get this down. This is uh, These are a little trickier, but I would like you to at least get the notes down and we'll deal with it in class some more here. So um, here we have a question where Kimberly sold 95 boxes of cookies. That's gonna be information we're gonna want a little bit later. And this year she wants to sell 20% more than last year. Okay, so so this 95 was last year, right? was right there last year she sold 95 but she wants to increase that 20 percent so she wants to sell 95 boxes plus 20 percent of 95 so we can think of it as um, she wants to this year sell 95 boxes but she wants to add to that 20 percent of 95 okay so she wants to increase her amount by 20 percent and so to do that, we are going to figure out what 20% of 95 is and then add that to 95. Well, to get into this problem, let me uh, review what we did in the very first page, on the back page of your notes, that um, the part is equal to the percent times the whole. Now, we're going to see why that's important for us to understand. If we multiply the whole value times the percent, we can get the part. Okay, well, let's take a look here at what we need to know. We need to know what the whole is, and we need to know what the part is, and we need to know what the percent is. Now, in the notes yesterday, I, I used is for part and of for whole, but with when we apply it, it's probably easier to think of these words of, and uh, I'm sorry, whole and part. Well, the whole was 95 because that's what she sold last year. So she sold 95. Well, we want to know how much did that increase? I know I'm right at the edge of the screen there. Uh, that's what we want to figure out. We need to figure out what was her increase. And we know that the percent that she wants to increase is 20%. Now, remember, we use the decimal value 0.2 uh, to do that. Okay, so if the part is x, okay, and the percent is 0.2 or 2 tenths times the whole which is 95 all right well X is isolated and I can go 2 tenths times 95 and get 19 so she wants to sell 19 more boxes okay well if she sells 19 for box 19 more boxes the question says how many boxes will she have to sell to reach her goal 20% because 19 is 20% of 95 Okay, what she needs to sell is 95 plus 19 for a total of 114 boxes to sell 20% more. Okay, so if she is going to increase 20% from last year, she'd have to sell a total of 114 boxes. All right, well, let's take a look at number eight. This one is even a little uh, stranger question. Uh, let me write this down again. We got the, we know that the part is equal to uh, the percent, I'll write it like this, times the whole. Learn that from the first page. And again, let's write down whole. We need to figure out what the whole is. We need to figure out what the part is. All right, and we need to know what the percent is. Okay, well, the whole, that's going to be the original price. Okay, original price before the tax. So let's look at what happened. Well, that means that if we have the original price here, they added taxes to it, and you paid a total price of this. Okay, so you know when you go to the store and you buy something, it might be marked a certain price, and then they you have to pay a tax on that price. Well, that's what's happening in this problem. Martin wants to buy a motor scooter. The cost of the motor scooter is $4,968 total, including the tax. All right. Well, the whole is the original price, which is 4968. 4968. That's the original price. Well, the part is the tax on the original price because based on this they're gonna to have to pay 
a tax. So the tax, uh, we need to figure that out. Now we can figure that out. Watch this. We have the original price and we have the um, price after tax. So if I subtract 5290.92 minus 4968, all right, you get 322. Point, uh, what's that? Nine two. All right, that's the tax that they paid on the original price. So what we want to know what was the percent of sales tax that they had to pay for that? That is X, basically. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the part, which is three twenty-two ninety-two, and we're going to plug it into this equation. Three two two. 0.92, and that is equal to uh, x times the original price, which was 4968, and we are going to divide both of these sides by 4968. to establish what the percent of tax they paid on that money was. And if we do the math now, this cancels out here, and we divide this out on my calculator. It shows 0 0.065. That's equal to x. Now realize that that's a decimal value of the uh, tax. So we want to change that to a percent. We want to multiply it times 100, giving me 6.5%. So that's a higher level thinking problem for us. Uh, we should be able to... I'll work through some simpler problems uh, like this, but this one I just wanted to stretch it just a little bit, bring those notes to class, and we'll talk more about it then.